we talk about class wrapper simple topic so we will have to say know how to define the class wrapper and uh, how, why we need the class wrapper and also a different type of class wrapper and we will create an object of the wrapper class so the first thing is that when you say class wrapper it is ju just an object wraps or contain uh, primitive data type uh, it is primitive data type okay non primitive data type is not you know here so we say class wrapper or wrapper class is a class where the object is wrapped or contained uh, contain what primitive data type that means integer double uh, character uh, float and so now the class wrapper is already identified in this package it's called java dot lang okay and uh, like all the classes it will be automatically available in java so very simple and easy and uh, now you can create uh, you know um, class wrapper or wrapper class using these primitive data type as i mentioned integer character byte uh, short long float double boolean which is basically a primitive data type that can be used now the wrapper class for each one the int is a full integer class so the other class called integer which is wrap the integer data type character is a wrapper for what a wrapper for chr byte is a wrapper for byte you can see here in the in the in the right side the wrapper class is a full word and the first letter is capitalized and the first letter is capitalized this is actually the real class or the wrapper class that we will use okay now the primitive data type is more like some it comes in a small letter okay and sometimes a shortcut is like int for integer chr for character and the rest are probably the same except that the first letter is uh, bigger uh, so capital letter now um, it is it is um, sometimes it's useful okay because you need to do that when you do like a big program or in order to specify a, is the exact memory size that you want to use um, how do we create it very simple and easy very simple and easy uh, if you have a program like this let's create a new project and let's call it uh, week 5 or Java and Java class and next okay let's create week 5 okay and then um, finish okay we're gonna use program to uh, you know demonstrate how we're gonna create uh, a class a wrapper or wrapper object um, you have the code here so usually we used to say integer okay but, um, when we use uh, wrapper objects okay we use it in different ways so if I say for example integer x equal 10 okay and I could say I, I could wrap it inside another variable so I would say using the integer class wrapper I would say integer what uh, then uh, notes here we wrote the full word okay we wrote the full word like this integer and the first color um, first letter is what has to be what has to be capital okay and you say for example uh, new or uh, x uh, let's say uh, y example equal what and you have to use the word in use similar when you take an instance from um, a class so you say new and you again integer because it is an integer class and we have to say we taking this as a wrapper for what for x so what does that mean we wrap x inside y we wrap x inside y using the uh, wrapper class integer it has to be the same type okay so you cannot use double you cannot use string and so on this is basically the simplest way to say wrapper if you have a character like uh, you can you can mention the number directly here you can write a 10 without uh, you can say 20 so that means that you wrap the number directly inside the y 
Okay, it's different from saying integer y equal 20. Now, uh, the character is the same. You can use the same thing. So you can say character. You have to mention that upper class. Okay, character. Character. Okay, and uh, we have to say, uh, for example, uh, ch equal new for example but a new character and you give it a value inside and because it's a character you have to give it between what between a single quotation so you can say for example m all right so in this case you wrap what you have a character inside um the space here so this is how we wrap a character inside the character like this okay character like this so this is how we wrap the m inside what inside the variable called ch this is called wrapper class now there's no wrapper class for non-primitive data type because it's already an object and we take an instance from it so there's no wrapper class inside uh, for non-primitive data wrapper class only for primitive data type remember that now this is how we create that uh, so if you want to create okay so we know how to create a class wrapper we can use it like a variable you can print it you can assign a value to it you can do whatever you want it's like using uh, any other variable